Some Pokemon are ugly. Did you know there are over 700 Pokemon now? You probably did. And after designing so many Pokemon over the last decade and a half, chances are some of them turned out looking like crap, and I'm here to tell you guys which ones I think most closely resemble said crap. Now I've already done a video on my 10 least favorite Pokemon, and a lot of the Pokemon are on that list because I hate how they look, but that doesn't necessarily mean their designs are bad, it just means that I don't like them. So I'm gonna try not to have too much overlap with that list and really focus on the Pokemon in this list from a design standpoint. Oh, and this video contains opinions which I've come to realize are far worse than graphic nudity and violence, so you've been warned. Number 10! So let's kick this off with one of the lamest looking, most uninspired Pokemon out there, Amoongus. I don't really know what they were going for here. They just slapped arms and a face on a mushroom and were like, okay, this thing's good to go. Actually, I kind of wish they had just stopped there because the thing that bothers me most about Amoongus' design is the fact that it's head and hands? They're designed after Pokeballs! Does that make the slightest bit of sense? They could have looked like anything. Have you seen all the types of cool looking mushrooms there are out there? And they were just like, well, this is Pokemon, so I guess mushrooms should look like Pokeballs. Yeah. I guess someone at Game Freak decided that tricking people into getting into wild encounters because Amoongus' head looks like a Pokeball was just so genius that they had to do it, no matter how little sense it made for a Pokemon's appendages to look like man-made objects. Speaking of which... Number 9! Electrode and Voltorb. No Generation 1, you're not off the hook here just because you're the OG. You had plenty of craptastic designs too. Like Pokeball and other Pokeball here. I don't think this one needs a whole lot of explaining. These two are just Pokeballs with faces. And hey, maybe it was the same asshat back then that decided that fooling people into getting into a battle was just the most fucking brilliant thing on the planet. Well, it's not. And it's definitely not clever enough to make shittily designed Pokemon specifically for that reason. The only redeeming thing about these guys is the whole theory about how Voltorb looks like it has Haunter's eyes, so maybe it's a haunted Pokeball. But it's Electric-type, so that really doesn't make sense, does it? You see what you've done, Game Freak? You've made people come up with all these stupid theories because the Pokemon you designed don't make any damn sense. Jeez. Number 8, Barbarical. Did I say that right? Visually, there's a lot going on with Barbarical, and none of it is good. And the ongoing tradition of these games being required to make a Pokemon after every plant and animal in existence, Game Freak decided we needed a Barnacle Pokemon. You know, those little shits that get stuck all over everything in the ocean. Those things that barely seem like they're alive because they're pretty much just little rocks. I'm sure you can see now why we needed a Barnacle Pokemon. But we're here to talk about shitty designs, not shitty ideas, right? Well, this one just happens to be both. I mean, it's not surprising that Barbarical looks like a mess. They really didn't have a lot to work with. I guess Binacle looks okay. It's still pretty much a Barnacle. But trying to make a Barnacle Pokemon that can get up and walk around? I don't know, just give it a bunch of fucking hands. Well, what about its head? I said give it a bunch of fucking hands! Okay, jeez. Number seven! Drudagon. You know what Pokemon type literally had no bad designs before Generation 5? Dragon. You know what Pokemon screwed all that up? Drudagon. I mean, I guess you could make an argument for Altaria being kind of non-dragonish, but it's still a pretty good design. Anyway, Drudagon is just a disgrace. I remember the first time encountering one in the wild and just being like, Huh? Is this thing made of Legos? Why are its colors so obnoxious? Why is its head a different color from the rest of its body? Why do its wings look like some kind of thorny ass blue leaf? What's with its super long monkey arms? Why is it so ugly? Even its name is ugly. Drudagon? Reminds me of drudgery. Maybe they were burned out on the drudgery of designing new Pokemon one night and they just threw Drudagon together as a symbol of the dull and menial experience they were having. It's the drudgery dragon. How sexy. Number six, Vanillux. Let's get this out of the way now. I'm not a Vanillux hater, or at least not for the same reason a lot of people are. The fact that there's a Pokemon visually based on ice cream isn't what bothers me, because honestly, Vanillite is pretty cute, and Vanillish is... acceptable looking. The problem with Vanillux is that it's way over-designed. The two faces, the straw or whatever that's spewing some kind of cloud, all the freaking sprinkles or whatever those are, it's just too much! This thing looks like a giant dessert, not like a Pokemon. 
I think over-designing is actually one of the biggest problems with some of the newer designs. Sometimes it looks cool, but sometimes it looks awful. Over-designed Pokemon stop looking like these interesting living creatures and just kind of resemble a mess. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it robs them of their personality. And maybe this is getting a little deep for a silly top 10 about bad Pokemon designs, but I think it's worth mentioning. Anyway, who's next? Number 5! Geodude. I might be alone on this one, but I have thought the Geodude looks like shit from day one. Like, literally, it looks like someone made some kind of little monster out of crap. There are so many other cool rock types that have creative designs. Geodude's design is just really lazy and uninspired. I'm probably gonna use that word a lot, uninspired. It's just a rock with a face and arms. I don't know if it bothers anyone else, but it certainly bothers me. I guess the common theme with designs I dislike is when they just stick limbs to an object and call it a Pokemon. Heck, even his name is kind of weak. Geodude? So like, rock man? I don't know. There's not much else to say. Someone do me a favor and go down in the comments and agree with me. Number four, Bear Tick. Okay, you might think I'm crazy for this one, but just hear me out. Bear Tick is a missed opportunity, or maybe it's too much of a good thing. They had their heart in the right place when designing this guy, but the execution is way off. I mean, at face value, it's a freaking bear with a freaking beard. It doesn't get much more manly than that. But there's just something extremely underwhelming about Beartick. His beard being made of ice is a cool idea, but it doesn't look all that impressive, it's just kinda stuck on there. And I can't help but mention the fact that Cub Chew has a frozen snotsicle hanging from his nose, so does that mean Beartick's beard is made of snot? Probably not. But regardless, without the beard, Beartick is just a polar bear, and with the beard, he's just a polar bear with a kind of unimpressive ice beard. Oh, and what's going on down here? Is that a beer belly or a giant pube ball? You know what? Forget I asked. Number three, Garbodor. I know I'm dishing out a lot of Gen 5 hate, but I promise it ends here. Just like with Vanillux, the fact that Garbodor is based on actual garbage isn't what bothers me. I mean, Grimer and Muck basically are too, and their designs are decent at best. But look at Trubbish, he's actually really adorable. Doll, oh, who's a good bag of shit? And then there's this guy. I can only think one thing when I lay eyes on Garbodor. <laughs> it's just ugliness compounded by ugliness, and it's pretty over-designed too. See, here's a perfect example. Trubbish is nice and symmetrical. His ears are little trash bag ties, he's got one of those so ugly it's cute faces like a pug or something, and some of the trash is spilled out to give him little arms. Solid. And then there's... Uh, they just stuck crap to garbage and stuck shit to trash and out came this. Gross. Number two! Mega Slowbro. Alright, I have some major problems here. Major. Such as, what the hell? And, why in Arceus' name? And, how much peyote did you consume when you were coming up with this? I mean, Slowbro is whatever. Kind of a cool concept. Solid in its simplicity. So why is the Shelder eating him? How does that make him mega? I don't know what else to say besides, holy crap, this thing is ridiculously stupid looking. It literally looks like a joke. I'm still not convinced I'm not just having a really weird dream. Things also in this dream include a Mega Legendary that doesn't need a Mega Stone to Mega Evolve and Charizard being able to beat Blastoise. I should be waking up any minute now. So what's Mega Slow King gonna look like? A giant shell with two little legs popping out of the bottom? Sheesh! Number one! Alright, I managed to keep my least favorites off this list until now and I just can't take it anymore! Probopass is the absolute ugliest, ill-conceived, pointless waste of a Pokedex entry there is. Just go to dictionary.com. See? Ugly. There he is. Do you know what Nosepass is based on? Those Easter Island head things. Why? I don't know. Do I care? Not really. I first saw Nosepass and I was like, okay, that's dumb, and I moved on with my life. I cannot move on from this! The Easter Island heads don't have mustaches, and apparently its mustache is supposed to be made of metal fillings that stick to its magnetic nose. Like, what?! Is that really the explanation they came up with for why this thing has a big dumb mustache? It's really just mind-boggling, and I'm gonna have to stop talking about it before I blow a gasket! Thank you guys so much for watching. It was fun making another Pokemon Top 10. I know it's been a long time since I have, but I've got a lot of these planned for the future. So uh, please stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you agree, if you disagree, if you think there's one that that, that would be on your list, uh, just let me know. And if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel, or I will kill you! Bye.